and this is this crafting. It's almost Easter, and so today we are going to be doing a cross-related craft, a ribbon cross on canvas. For this tutorial, you're going to need a canvas of any size, two ribbons, two different widths to make your cross, and then a third ribbon, super skinny, super, super, super skinny ribbon, and this is going to be tying up your cross, okay? You're going to be needing some paint that matches your ribbon so you can paint your canvas, some white glue, and I also used hot glue. You can use all white glue if you'd like, but I used a little bit of both. A brush, of course, a ruler, scissors, of course the ruler's pink. Alright, so that's all you're going to need for this tutorial. Let's get started! Alrighty guys, so to begin, we're going to go ahead and paint our canvas. Now you want to make sure it matches with your ribbon. So I'm using this pink floral and this pink with gold. So um, I'm going to be using a mix of like pink, white, and gold to paint my canvas. And honestly, I'm just going to wing it. It doesn't have to be perfect. The main focal point is going to be the ribbon cross. So the paint does not have to be perfect. Okay, so I don't quite have the pink I want, so I'm going to have to make it. If you are mixing your own paint, you can just go ahead and keep adding color until you feel like you have enough paint and it matches pretty nicely with your ribbon. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and paint my canvas now. I don't really want a very solid look on my canvas, so I'm going to add a little bit of white and a little bit of gold to kind of so it's not quite so solid. Alright, to begin, we're going to go ahead and measure out our ribbon. So now, what we're going to do is we're going to be overlapping two different ribbons. So I've gone ahead and picked out this pink floral and pink with gold, as I've said before. And so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to measure out both. So first we need, we need a measurement from both sides. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the long ways. And you just want to wrap it around your canvas. And you want to make sure you have enough so you can secure it in the back, okay? So we're going to put it back, make sure it's nice and smooth, okay? Alright, so that's long enough, and we're just going to go ahead and cut that. So now we've got our long ways. And then you can just take this measurement and use it to measure out your second ribbon. So the size is going to depend on how big your canvas is. So I'm not going to tell you measurements but it's very easy to determine how long. So now we've got our long side, and so we're gonna put these aside, and now we're going to go ahead and cut our short side. And it's always good to have a little bit extra, that way you have some wiggle room. You can always cut it later. And so we're measuring out our second ribbon. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and take, put the canvas to the side. And we're going to glue down our two ribbons together, okay? So you're just going to want to go ahead and try to put it in the middle. You can pull out a ruler. I'm personally not going to worry about it. I mean, the, the ribbons are so close where you can basically tell where the middle is. So we don't need to worry about too much about that. For this step, I'm going to be using just normal white glue. Um, it's a little bit hard to keep it from getting lumpy if you use... Uh, hot glue for this step, okay? So we're just going to go ahead and lay some, a little bit of glue. You don't want to put too much. You want to put enough that it'll stick, but not too much because you'll just make a mess. So just kind of put a little thin layer of glue. Alright, and then we're going to go ahead and flip it over and glue it to the middle of our bigger ribbon. Okay. 
play with it so make sure you get it nice and in the center. Alright, so now we've got our ribbon glued down. You're going to want to hold it ahead and do this with our other pieces of ribbon and let that dry. Okay, so now that our ribbons have dried, we're going to go ahead and glue them to our canvas. So we're just going to go ahead and lay them out. We need to decide where exactly we want them. We're actually going to be starting with the shorter piece. So we just need to decide how far up or down you want it. Obviously you don't want it like right in the middle or too low. You kind of want it up higher a little bit. So I think I'm going to put it right about there. Okay, so we're going to remove this one. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take our hot glue gun and you want to just lay this out nice, very nicely. Now what you're going to do is you do not want to glue it to the canvas, okay? Not to the canvas at all, okay? Just kind of line it up. So we're going to flip it around and we're just, we're going to glue it. Take a hot glue gun and what we're going to do is we're just going to glue it to the, the wood section right here, okay? So we're just going to put a little of our hot glue. We're just going to fold it over like that, okay? And then we're going to go ahead and do this with the other side as well. So you just want this nice and secure in here. I had a little extra so I'm just going to go ahead and fold it over one more time. This is of course not necessary. Alrighty then. So now our ribbon is attached. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to take our super thin ribbon here. Okay. This ribbon honestly doesn't matter too much because we're going to get it covered anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and use a ruler and we just want to find the middle of our ribbon here. Okay. So we're going to have to wing it a little bit. It's almost nine inches. So we're going to go a little under four and a half. And so you don't want you don't need a too very uh, you don't need a very long piece, just enough so you can like double knot. So I'm gonna make it a little longer than I probably need it. That way I have wiggle room. Okay. All right. So we're gonna go back to where we've measured it, and we're about middle here. So we're just gonna slide our ribbon underneath. That's why it's important you did not glue it to your canvas. Okay. We're gonna slide this underneath, and you're gonna bring it up. And we're going to just tie a normal knot, okay? You take this ribbon, tie a knot. And yes, you do want it to cinch in the middle, okay? And you got to play with it. You don't really want it coming in so you don't see the ribbon. You just kind of want it so you can... You just have to play with it, honestly, till you get the kind of cinch that you like. Alright, so that's pretty much our middle. So we're going to go ahead and tighten that, okay? And then you can go ahead and tie one more knot, just so it's nice and secure. And then you can go ahead and cut that. Like I had said before, I cut too much, but it was just to make sure that we did have enough, okay? Alright guys, so we're going to do basically the exact same thing, okay? So we're going to take our ribbon, and this time we don't even have to worry about trying to center it because we already have our center decided here, okay? So we're just going to lay it across that center right here. All right, flip us, flip it over. And then we're going to go ahead and hot glue it. All right, so now we have our second side of our cross. So basically, we're going to do the same exact thing again, as I said before, okay? We're going to cut another piece of our skinny ribbon, okay? And we're just going to cinch this in the middle. That time, I didn't tighten my ribbon as quite as much. Um, I didn't want it quite so skinny. It's your choice. You can cinch it super tightly. You can leave it loose, whatever you like. So now as you can clearly see, um, we have a little bit, we have this kind of ugly spot where our ribbon is, or our smaller ribbon is. So we're going to go ahead and put a little something there. So I'm going to go ahead and use this, um, this heart, um, this little heart button. You can use anything you like, really. It just kind of covers up the imperfections and adds a little sweet something in the middle of our cross, okay? So before you do this, I would go ahead and adjust to make sure you are happy with your cross, okay? Just 
want to play with it. So that way you're nice and happy with your cross. Alrighty then. So I'm going to use hot glue for this. Like mine has a big hole in it, so I need to be very careful not to let the glue show through that hole. You can use white glue probably. The thing is, it's such an uneven surface, I don't know if it would fully work. So I'm going to go ahead with the hot glue. So I'm just going to be careful not to put too much so it doesn't show. Okay. I'm just going to stick it down right there. Alrighty, so we have completed our project. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. It's a great craft to hang up in your house for Easter. If you do decide to make this tutorial, we would love to see your amazing creations. You can go ahead and post them on Instagram and tag us at syscrafting747 and we will see them and maybe even feature them on our Instagram or here on YouTube. Please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Until next time, guys. Bye. Okay, this was a lot. Hey, come on. You're going to fall with this one. I need to get ready to fall. <laughs> okay, ready? <laughs> it's a pink overload. Seriously, right? it is. The background's pink. <laughs> You're pink. The canvas is pink. The cross pink, is pink. Pink, 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 pink. She's not wearing pink.